before you just throw your home into the real estate arena and hope it sells, your home, every home, deserves some love. How long does it typically take to sell a home? Well, whether you've sold in the past or not, I highly recommend you grab some golden nuggets as a first time home seller or get a refresher. The market is ever changing and details are the most important. The dollars are in the details. We want you to get the absolute most, every penny possible out of your home when we decide to sell it. Am I right? I feel that same way. So let's just talk through the steps of home selling and how long it typically takes to sell a home. Grab a comfortable seat and a cozy blanket if you're so inclined because we are about to unravel this real estate topic play by play. Got my coffee and I've got a nice little candle going here and I'm in a comfy seat. So let's get started. Selling a home is really best described through a roadmap or a timeline with a series of events that each happen, usually in a certain order. On average, from the moment you list your home to the actual closing day, it can take approximately 30 to 60 days or more. This timeline can vary greatly depending on a lot of different factors, the market being a big factor here, of course. So let's talk about the market. A hugely important factor in the home selling journey is the market. The local market conditions play a massive role in determining how quickly your home finds its new owner. In sizzling hot markets, your home might be snapped up in just wow. a week. In cooler markets, it might take a bit longer to find the right match. In order to better or best set expectations for yourself and your emotions, make sure you are aware of what most homes in your area or market spend on average, actually on the market, days on market, before you receive an offer. The series of events on this timeline are very important. Before you just throw your home into the real estate arena and hope it sells, your home, every home, deserves some love. Imagine it as a contestant in a beauty pageant. It needs to look its absolute best. Declutter like you are auditioning for a minimalist role. Fix those leaky floors and perhaps add a splash of fresh paint. It looks good and smells fresh too. I love the smell of fresh paint in a home. A perfectly prepared home shines like a spotlight. Everyone is drawn to it. Haven't you seen the cars lined up and down for an open house in your neighborhood? Wouldn't it be nice to have the spotlight on your home and be the one in the neighborhood that sells the quickest and for the most money? Oh, and the topic of money, pricing. Setting the price for your home is a refined skill, much like perfecting the taste of a gourmet meal or a cup of coffee. If you price it too high, your home could be seen as overpriced and everyone stays away from it. On the flip side, if you underprice it, you might be left wondering if you left money on the table. So a seasoned realtor, and especially one seasoned in multiple types of markets, can help you set the best competitive market price for your home. Depending on the type of market, sometimes this can lead to multiple offers. Sometimes the list price is, is ideal, and sometimes you may receive an offer below list price. You may hear we realtors say that there is no crystal ball in real estate, and that's so very true. There are several ways. The market itself, the buyers themselves, will tell and show you if you are priced correctly or not. That could be through the number of showings you receive, any offer or offers received, the amount and what the offer or offers are for, and more. Choosing a realtor that follows the market and can tell you the statistics on how many showings are being scheduled in your market, the zip code, the school district, etc., is important to have. With this data at your fingertips, it allows you to really hone in on setting the right list price for your home. Then it simply comes to some marketing magic. Simply listing your home won't cut it. 
Think of your home as a dazzling performer on a grand stage, staging your home, maybe not with new or borrowed furniture, but just showing your home in its best light is super important. Buyers like to picture their own kitchen accessories, their own sofa over there, their photos on the wall, and more. Speaking of photos, make sure you have a professional photographer. Professional photos, 3D virtual tours, aerial photos, and captivating descriptions are your secret ingredients to captivate potential buyers and get them inside to actually see your home. So hiring a professional photographer is important, and this is why we also love open houses. They can be a fantastic, no-pressure way for someone to come in and just see your home, and who knows, before they know it, they can fall in love with that home and put in an offer, too. I've seen it done many times. When an offer or multiple offers are received, it's time to put your negotiation hat on. This back and forth can sometimes take a few days and it can be taxing. Once both parties reach an agreement, you're ready to sign the contract and move on to the many other things that happen behind the scenes to get to the closing day. We have a list, I think it's 180 things our real estate team does behind the scenes to work on your behalf just to ensure a smooth as possible closing process. While there are many or maybe inspections and appraisal, possibly negotiating some more repairs, etc. So many things that happen up until possibly the day of closing. Closing is where the symphony of all that paperwork, the inspections, the appraisal, the many texts, emails, phone calls, sometimes blood, sweat, and tears comes to a crescendo. It can take anywhere from 30 to 60 days from an accepted offer to the actual closing day. But when all the pieces fall into place, it's time to hand over the keys to your home's new owner. A few other points to consider. Let's not forget the human element in this equation. Our personal circumstances like job changes, life events, or simply the emotional attachment to a home We've seen this, and it can significantly influence the timeline. Sometimes it's not about the market. It's about the timing and the alignment of everything behind the scenes. And in this real estate saga, unexpected plot twists can occur. Home inspections may reveal surprises or financing hiccups could arise, adding extra pages to the story. But flexibility and patience are your trusty companions during these stages. In conclusion, selling a home is not simply putting a sign in the yard, putting it on the Realtors multiple listing service, and hoping that it sells. Great Realtors act masterfully behind the scenes with lots of strategy, lots of preparation, and lots of knowledge. With an experienced Realtor guiding you through this adventure, you can orchestrate a successful home sale that's truly worth celebrating. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and we wish you the best in your home selling journey. Want us to be a part of it and or at least interview for the job? We'd love to do so and we'd be honored to hear from you. Have a grand day from Grand Allure Home Group.